I've just received my spoke reflectors, which I've ordered yesterday. There we go. 36 in a packet. Reflective material. Hopefully uh, the packaging is just you know, simple cardboard plastic. A little description on how to put it on. Should be fairly straightforward. So let's, let's try and put them on my wheel. There are 36 in a packet and uh, I've got about 20 spokes in each wheel on my bike. So I'm gonna just put one every second spoke. That should be enough. Considering that when it's spinning, that the light should just give out white disc. So it's got a little slot on the side and uh, it's kind of crossed it in the top. I think you just slide it on and turn it and it clicks in place and that should be good and that's quite steady too so I'm going to just click them and then get them out turn out of way so that the slot is on different sides and then I think I'm going to try and alternate the height of them some up here if that works yeah maybe slide that one up slide it up so that they should build a they kind of they should build a a kind of complete circle in the wheel is spinning but I can't try that till uh, later on so let's see Not that easy with one hand. So I'm just gonna and then I'm gonna swap to the front row again. That's mainly just for the, the weight distribution, some at the back and some at the front. But again every second and roughly speaking I'm gonna go into the wheel and then out again. So that's that one done. Turn the wheel a little bit, that's that one, that bottom, middle, top, and, and all, all the spokes are different, so these are flat in the middle and they kind of round at the top, so the flat bit is a bit that clicks into these uh, grooves. So not only just a few more to go, last one, let me put this just up here again, so that's it all the way on the wheel and load left in the packet so unfortunately it's a bit too light to try and uh, see what the dark effect would be in the dark but I'm going to just take a picture with a flash on and see what it does so here it is As you can see, that was quite quite a reflective material there, so I'm just gonna quickly throw them on the back wheel as well. Um, oh, I've got the magnet there, so I'm gonna make sure that every second one will dodge that. Now, I know this is a road bike. I will, until I get my touring bike, I have put a pannier rack on this. Not to take much weight, but just enough to take my bag to work. Put it the other way. There we go. So every second one. There's not much space on these ones. So they're not as long, but hopefully that will still be plenty of room for them. So I'm going to change to every second one. I'm going to change to the outer ones here. Very, very straightforward, but I'm not sure how easy it is to take them off. But I'll leave that for another day. Every second one will be that one. They really just slide on and 
turn, twist, click on, perfect. Very, very simple so far, I'm quite impressed. I think that packet cost me about seven pound. I guess you could put one on every spoke, but hopefully when the wheel spins, it spins quicker than the picture it gets taken, so you just get a, a white reflective disc rather than the individual white lines, but I will try that this evening. When it gets dark, I'll take some more pictures to show you guys. So. Again, you could put them all the way at the outside. Hopefully, they seem quite tight, but maybe when the wheel is spinning, they will all fly to the outside. But again, I will find out once I start using them. So that's it, and I've still got I've bought a couple more than every second, because when I changed from the front to the back, I used a few more. So I've still got, what's that? 10 left. So I could put them on, but I'm gonna keep them just now. Maybe I'll find some other place, maybe. You know, if you, you could, depending on thickness, you could put them on other places around the bike, which take them. Um, so yeah, back wheel and front wheel. I'll take a photo just now. So very happy with that. Very simple to put on. And yeah, I'll try again tonight. I'll just quickly try and take one of them off. So you just, yeah, see it's not as easy, so they should stay on. I guess if you want to take them off, you just pull, yeah, you pull the top half and it, it does come off. If you just kind of pull the top half, it clicks off. But it's, it's not that easy. And I guess if, you know, if a couple do come off, there's plenty left. And uh, I might just put them somewhere. So yeah, I'm very impressed. So I'm gonna test it to see what it's like. Um, in the evening, so I'm going to just put the flashlight on. And there we go. So you can see it's nice and bright, and I've still got a light on. So that's the, the light off now. Very, very, quite nice actually. And let's see what. So that's what would be seen, I guess, when you're cycling at night. It might, might break us. Mud guard. So that is pretty bright and it will be uh, easily seen by the car. And I think the advantage is because these things are round, that even from a, an angle, say the car is coming from behind you, you know they, they would still see it. So I'm, I'm pretty much behind the tire now. So that's it, right behind they wouldn't see, but you know anywhere in an angle. You see it, so that's actually fantastic. Even so, and I guess the faster you go, there you go. When you're going full speed, So yes, very impressed, and uh, if you like them, and you think that that's something that you would like me to write, please, please follow the link below, the one I've posted through Amazon, I think about 790, so it's not that much, considering the amount of safety that would give you, and I'm always honest in my reviews, and this time I am very impressed, and I will definitely keep them and recommend them. So yeah, stay safe, you know, be confident on the road, and uh, make sure they see you. Thank you for watching.